Alright guys, welcome to the first bonus episode of Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So these episodes will just be covering everything we couldn't do during the main series, such as the interactions with Annette, um, any festivals that we might not have gotten some dialogue for, the first place prize of the treasure hunt one, and all those kind of things. I'll be covering as much stuff in this episode, know that I currently have it planned out that we will be doing two of these, so kind of figure this will be a bit different than my normal episodes. Now on screen right here shows every festival that Lynette will never talk during. I'm going to cover most of Lynette's character right here at the beginning. Lynette's a fairly outspoken girl who's not huge on crowds and seems to really enjoy her life here in Cardia. On Mondays you can find her next to the clinic and Jean's shop. Depending on the location, you can sometimes get different kind of dialogue from her as well. For instance, should you have low affection with her, she might say, I'm so thankful that people in this town have accepted me, despite me being a former Empire soldier. On Tuesdays, you can find her over next to Camus' shop. She might also say, I also like living in a town that's in harmony with the Earth. On Wednesdays, you can find her near Godwin's house. Raguna, your feelings make me so happy, but I wonder if the townsfolk will forgive me. I barely had a chance here, but I somehow carved out a life for myself. On Thursdays, you can find her in the town square. I could never go for a walk in the park like this when I lived in the Empire. On Fridays, you can find her at the top of the staircase leading down to the beach. On holidays, you can find her inside the church, where she'll spend the day praying with the rest of the town members. If I repented all the bad things I did in my life, surely I would be forgiven. On rainy days, she'll actually spend her day inside the library. You can really chill out at the library. And on rainy holidays, she'll spend the day inside of Sabrina's shop. I never fished or anything like that. Maybe I should give it a try. Sabrina also recommends it. Should you have a high affection with her, she'll give the dialogue options. Raguna, do you think the townsfolk would give us their blessing if, if we married or something? It'll be okay. I'm on good terms with everyone. For most festivals, she'll actually be over at Miss Place, isolating herself from the noise. Oh, there's a festival today, eh? I can't stand the noise. So that's a basic rundown of Lynette's different dialogue options and locations, should you need to find her. Some of those are more obscure than others. Of course, it's hard to get a rainy holiday to actually be able to talk to her, but it is possible. Just know that if you plan on marrying her, you need high friendship with everyone else, eight or higher, and have her love points maxed out. Once those two criteria are met, you just need to talk to her a few times and she'll bring up marriage. Should you try to delay it though, she'll scold you and you'll lose all friendship and love points with her. My recommendation is that once you get her up to 10 love points, you stop talking to her. Instead, just give her gifts and do other kind of events with her. Be careful as you don't want to lose her friendship. All in all, I think Lynette's actually a really interesting character. I think she's probably in my top three for all of the girls in Rune Factory 1. And I feel like she's a really good reason why this game could use a remake. Just a lot of her interactions throughout the game, it makes me feel like if this game were ever remade and more story was added onto it, this game would be a great one. And I hope someday that may happen. Especially with all the remakes and remasters happening in recent years. For now, I'm gonna hand it back to Pass Gabe as he covers the different festivals as well as a couple side quests that we hadn't done yet. Over to you! And it is Spring 18th, aka the Spring Festival, the day when you give cookies to all the girls you like. So we're gonna do that this year. Right up here is Melody, who deserves a cookie. Thanks! Thanks! Hey, isn't today the day you give cookies to the girl you love? It's perfect, I know how you feel now. Oh, that's cute. Which will put Melody at six hearts with us. Rosetta as well. Thank you! Hey, did you know that people give cookies to girls they like on this day? Does this mean that you really like me, Raguna? 
She is also at 10 hearts. A cookie for Felicity. Thank you very much. I love to get cookies on the Spring Festival. Hey, Braguna, I am... Um, I... Oh, forget it. And that will put Felicity at 8 hearts with us. One for Bianca. Cookies for the Spring Festival? Just too common. It makes me laugh. Well, I can't say I'm overjoyed, but I'll take it. She's already at 10 hearts, so that's fine. Thank you, very much. Thank you very much. I love the human custom of getting cookies at the Spring Festival. Mr. Aguna, does this, does this mean you like me? Oh, forget it. Another girl who's uh, currently at 10 hearts with us. A cookie for Laura. Thank you. You know, people give cookies to girls they like on this day. I won't forget about this, Raguna. She is also at ten hearts. Of course, a cookie for Mist. Thanks! I'm always happy to get cookies at the Spring Festival. Raguna, I, I'm so... I'll forget it. Of course, a cookie for May. Thanks, at my age, I never thought I'd get cookies at the Spring Festival. I'm not so happy about this gift. I think you may be mistaken. She's also at 10 hearts with us. A cookie for Sharon. Good Thanks, I'm happy you feel this way, Raguna. Oh, there's a festival today. I can't stand the noise. Thanks. Thanks, they have the custom of giving cookies for Spring Festival in every country. Interesting. With Lynette, that puts us at two love and one friendship. Interesting. And last but not least, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to get a cookie for the Spring Festival. And another one for Tori. Very much. And another one. Ah, uh, Mr. Aguna, do you have a crush on someone? That's the point that I believe we're now at four hearts with her. No, only at three. Good to know, though. So, I'm going to be giving quite a few cookies to both Lynette and Tori today. Tori especially, as she is notorious for being hard to marry. She's now at four hearts. She's now at six hearts with us. That puts her at eight hearts with us now. We're getting up there pretty well. She is at nine hearts with us now. I'm gonna call it good there. We currently have nine more cookies to give. So I'm gonna give a few of them to Felicity right up here. That puts us up to nine with Felicity as well. And finally, the last of the cookies go to Lynette. Last call. Tori and Felicity are at nine. Melody's at six. Lynette is at two friendship and four love. Not bad. Everyone else is at ten and ten. We're getting there. Almost everyone fully loves us. Even if it did take us more than a full year. So on any holiday between 7 and 8 p.m., you'll find Wesley here. He'll actually start a question. Oh, Mr. Raguna, have you seen my holy book? It disappeared somehow while I was taking a bath. Paving on my days off? <laughs> That's the thing I look forward to the most. This is actually the start of a quest that we cannot continue currently. I'll meet you outside on a sunny day. Huh? The priest's holy book? Um, well... If you hit it, you should tell the truth. Uh, well, um... I hid it in the woman's bath. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why did you hide it in a new place... Why did you hide it in a place like that for? How am I supposed to get it? So, if you come out here and talk to him any sunny day that he's outside, then you'll find out that he actually hid the book in the woman's bath. The problem with this town is there aren't enough kids! That's fair. With only him and Celia, that's not a lot of playmates. I know you possess unlimited power. So, 
the last time I actually showed her off, it was not the correct actual dialogue. That's her actual post-game comment. Excuse me, but I heard that Nicholas hid the Parsons' holy book in the woman's bath. What? When did he do that? If it's okay with you, I'd like to take a look in the woman's bath. Okay, but only when there are no customers. Thank you very much. Xavier's the only person that comes when it rains on holidays. That'd be a good time to come. So, it has to be a rainy holiday to actually find the book. Which is dumb, considering we know that there is, what is it, nine hours of the day beforehand? And something like nine hours after it closes? So like an 18 hour window of it not being open, or maybe it's like a 16 or something? There's quite a few hours in the day that I could go in there. But she says it has to be during that time, because the bathhouse had guess has to be open. It's dumb. In my opinion, it's very dumb. So, let's hope it's a rainy holiday soon. And now on the seventh day of summer, we're actually on a rainy holiday for once. I'm a bit nervous. So since it's a rainy holiday, we can actually girl go in the girl's bath. And, hopefully, this is it. You found the holy book. I gotta give it to Wesley. So that's what the girl's bath looks like. The holy book, Wesley's cherished book. As all the curio items, we'll have no more business in the ladies' bathhouse. Okay. As with all of the curio items, it's not worth anything. You can't really ship it. It just gets rid of it, I think, if you do. So don't do that. I give thanks for peace again today. If we give him the book... Oh, this is it, without a doubt, my holy book. Did you find it for me, Mr. Raguna? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. So where was it? What? Where, you ask? It was... Well, that's not really important, is it? Huh? Well, anyway, all I care about is that my holy book is back. Thank you. In that case, let me give you this rosary. He will give you the rosary. Critical power plus 5%, power guard plus 15%, zero defense. Rosary means rose and is used when praying. We can actually make this ourselves, but it's a neat thing to do if you get lucky early in the game before you can actually make the uh, rosary itself. Also, it's a neat little quest. One that I'm done with. Awesome. This is a quest that many people may actually never run into because not only do you have to go there... Uh, I think it's on holiday at 7 to 8 p.m., but then you have to get the holiday that's rainy after talking to Nicholas outside, so it can't be the same day, and then give the book back, which is the easy part. It's kind of convoluted, but we got it. That's really awesome. I'm glad I didn't have to just like reset grind this just over and over and over again until I finally did it. Alright, now it's the 23rd of spring, also known as Egg Day. We've spoken with everyone already, at least in the before section. Good morning. I've been waiting so long for this day, the day of the egg show. Bring me your best eggs. Well, I mean, I have these two large eggs right here. Raguna, your large egg this year tastes awesome. I've sampled all this year's eggs, and so it's time to announce the winner. And the winner is Raguna's large egg. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Here's the winner's prize money of 50,000 G in an empty bottle. An empty bottle? Don't just think of this as an ordinary empty bottle, it's a very useful item. Oh, really? Hey, I, I can't wait for next year. You got 50,000 G in an empty bottle. Alright. Let's talk with people. Hello. Congratulations on your victory, you really do have talent. Well, we're gonna beat me this time. It'll be a different story next year. Hello. Well, you won. Impressive. Hello. Your eggs are great, Mr. Aguna. No way you won. Amazing. You're so talented, Mr. Raguna. You beat Newman to the egg show? Congratulations, Raguna. That's amazing that you won. I think you have a knack for living off the land, Raguna. So you won. Very impressive. Again, it seems you've won. Awesome. But I guess Newman may be a little down. Huh? 
What? You won? I didn't know you were good at that kind of stuff. Taking care of animals? I have a farm. You won, Raguna. What a surprise. You won? Maybe you used to raise maybe you used to raise cockadoodles before. No. Wow, you beat that Newman to win the title. Awesome. Hello. You won, did you? That's very impressive. Did you really win, Raguna? Well done. You won it! Awesome, I knew you would! Wow, you did it. Impressive. So you won? I knew you had it. C congratulations on your victory. You're amazing. What? You won? Wow, impressive! Congratulations on winning the egg show, Raguna. Bravo. What? You won? I think I underestimated you. I heard you won! Cool! They say you won, Raguna. Wow! Yeah, as usual, she won't really comment on festivals. I know you possess unlimited power. Same for Sharon. And now it's the 27th day of spring, aka the big cook-off. I waited so long for today, the day of the big cook-off. Let me sample your tastiest wares. This year's theme is pumpkin pudding. I wish you all the best. Oh, one of the harder to make ones, I think. Future Gabe chiming in real quick, just to say that last year we actually couldn't make it, and it was also the pumpkin pudding, which means that this is actually our vengeance right now. This is our comeback. So, I'm not sure if I covered this all last year, but it could be a lot of different things. It could be the orange juice, the fried potato, the hot chocolate, the pumpkin pudding, the pike sashimi, or the baked potato. I know I have pumpkins ready because I was planning ahead for this. Here in the steamer, we're going to use one milk, one egg, and one pumpkin to make the pumpkin pudding. Thank you. Thanks for the pumpkin pudding. I'll try it right away. Wow, what a tasty pumpkin pudding. Pumpkin puddings are more difficult to make than other people think. This is awesome. We're going to win this year's contest. Congratulations. Here's 50,000 G in prize money. And we did it. That was this year's contest. Everyone should love us a little bit more. Today's the big cook-off, I'm not that bad cook myself. Oh. Do they not have a unique dialogue? Oh. I thought they would say something else. Well, you won. I guess your cooking ain't that bad. I lost this year, but I'm a, but I'm a good cook, so next year will be a different story. I, okay, some people will comment, some won't. Yeah, no, some people are in denial and are still thinking the competition's going on. Weird. Yeah, no, no one actually comments on it. I've just been jumping around and I've talked to everyone and no one cares. I guess there's like two people in the entire town who knows I won. Neat. Or actually, wait, there's one person I haven't spoken to. I really enjoyed all the tasty morsels of this year's big cook-off and I can't wait for next year. There we go. I have spoken with everyone, and the only people who care is Jasper, his daughter, and their maid. Everyone else does not care and does not believe that I won. Which is some bull crap. That puts us at 9 with Felicity, 7 with Melody, and 6 with Lynette. And now it's summer 1st. AKA Open Beach Day. The beaches are open. The peaches are open for swimming today. I'm so happy that I'm fit enough to swim again. So that's a bit different than last year. So that's neat. Felicity is up to 10 hearts with us now. The only two who are not are Melody and Lynette. And now it's the 18th of summer. Also known as the Dairy Show. Morning. Actually, I can't drink milk, but don't tell anyone. That's right, he's lactose intolerant, as we showed last year. Laguna, is this your large milk? Right, let me have a taste. Mmm. I have sampled all this year's milk, and so it's time to announce the winner. And this year's winner is Raguna's Large Milk. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Here's 50,000 G in prize money. Hey, this year's milk is so good, I can't wait for next year. You won 50,000 G. Nice. Wow, Raguna, your milk is truly delicious. It's the greatest. Wow, you won it. Not bad at all. Congratulations on winning the Dairy Show. So you won the Dairy Show? I'd like to try the milk from your farm sometime. Mr. Raguna, congratulations. You did it, Raguna. You won the Dairy Show. Raguna, incredible. I never thought you'd do it. There's nothing, 
There's nothing like taking on a challenge and winning. Wow, you won the dairy show. I wonder if anyone else could or I wonder if anyone could organize a poetry contest. You would have to actually try for that, because Jasper's the one who forced these things to happen. Excellently done, Raguna. You won the dairy show? Alright. Huh? You won the dairy show? To be honest, I don't really like milk, so I don't really care about the dairy show. What? You won the dairy show? Impressive. You make a mean glass of milk, Raguna? I didn't know you were so multi-talented. Raguna, you won the dairy show? Wow. Hey, we should try a milk bath at my place. You should not. You won the dairy show? Good job. They say you were number one, Raguna. Wow! Do you like milk, Raguna? You won the dairy show, so you must like it. Even your milk is excellent. You surprised me, I... Very impressive, Mr. Raguna. I expected Raguna to win the dairy show. Why he referred me by my name, I have no idea. Hello. You won the dairy show, eh? Awesome, Raguna. He beat Camus? <laughs> that should be good medicine for him. He was getting a bit too haughty. <laughs> I'm sure your milk tastes great, Raguna. Alright, it's the 26th day of summer, also known as the treasure hunt. This time we're doing things a little bit differently. I want to show off the first place prize, and that's really the only difference here. So I'm going to be a cheating person. So the thing is that normally how you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to get the prize from this and rather than turn it into Mayor Godwin, you actually keep it for the next year. And I could have done this the first year, but I believe I needed the wood or something like that, or maybe the money, I don't remember what it was. No, I think I took the bottle. I think that's what I took. And um, yeah, so this year we're going to be doing it via cheating because I don't feel like playing another year. Here are the rules. A book called Sunset Road is hidden somewhere in a Carmite cave. Yep. Okay. I don't even have a teleport spell because I was just playing up to this point on emulator just to do a couple things that I would have a very difficult time doing in the real game. Such as this and replaying an entire year, and the other one you'll see next episode. Alright, down to the second floor. Past the ant. Hmm, looks like something is buried here. Hey, this is Sunset Road. This is certainly Sunset Road. You did it, Raguna. Your time was zero hours, zero minutes. What a time. Wow, not just great, amazing, a great time. Did you use some kind of special technique? Such as cheating. Noticing that kind of thing is an important exploration skill. Well, the prize money is also unbelievable. I present you with 200,000... Wait. 2 million G and 2,000 pieces of wood. Congratulations. Yeah, you get 2 million. Oh, wait, 200,000? I thought it said 2 million. Weird. I must have misread that. It's fine. Uh, 200,000 G and 2,000 wood. Easy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's done. That's neat. That's awesome. And that's really the only difference in this festival. I could go through and show the lower prizes, but it's really just more of the same. I just wanted to show off that one because few people actually play through two years of the game to be able to do that, or even three if you also wanted the bottle, so, you know. Alright, it's the seventh of autumn, also known as the Harvest Festival. This won't be too different than last year, except for one simple thing. That thing being over at Mist's place. Oh, there's a festival today? I can't stand the noise. You know, actually, I'm not sure if these count. It says type vegetables, probably. Oh, um... I don't really like the tomato. Oh. Oh no, tomatoes count. They... She just doesn't care. Good to know that not only does she not care about festivals, but she really doesn't care about the gifts on this festival. Well, the other thing we're going to do today, if they're over here, they're not. Where are they? Hey, Melody. I love the Harvest Festival. I like showing my gratitude for the blessings of the earth. 
spinach. I know it's not relevant, but come and take a bath sometime, okay? Let's see if it works or not. Okay, after 10 veggies, does she get the love and affection? I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure that was 8 before. So, yes. Alright, an entire stack of spinach puts us at 10 love with Melody. We're done. Every girl has 10 love with us. Lynette only has f 10... Wait. Lynette has 4 friendship. Um... I want to see if this actually does affect her, so testing. Let's see. She's at 4 friendship right now. Okay, just after those ones. No, it doesn't seem to be affecting her at all. Alright, today is the day of the Moonlit Eve. Today you can ask any girl you're at 4 love points or higher with to go to the top of Mount Clemens after 6pm. Starting at 6 a.m., you can ask Lynette or Sharon. After 9 a.m., you can ask Bianca, Felicity, Lara, May, Rosetta, Tabitha, and Tori. Afternoon, you can ask Mist. And after 3 p.m., you can ask Melody. It's Moonlit Eve tonight. I don't think I'll be going. Do you want to go on a date with me? A date with me? <laughs> you are a funny one, Raguna. Do you think a date with me would be fun? But seeing as you asked, I'll go with you, Raguna. Okay, I'll be waiting on Mount Clemens. It was a nice night, Raguna. You're always in the caves. You should go up on the mountain sometimes, Raguna. Yeah, I should. Thanks for inviting me today, Raguna. It made for a nice change of scenery. C could it be that you're in love with me, Raguna? What? I actually... I just can't say it. Okay, I'm going now. Another sweet little moment. I really do like this music. But sadly, we're on to the next girl. It's Moonlit Eve tonight. We don't have this custom in the Empire. Do you want to go on a date with me? Really? I accept. I hear that this company... I heard that this country's Moonlit Eve is a lot of fun. Okay, I'll be waiting on the top of Mount Clemens. Is that okay? Raguna, the moon is too bright for them to make a nocturnal assault. Yeah. Just kidding, of course. This kind of night is great sometimes, Raguna. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me today. I had a great time, Raguna. By the way, Raguna, is there a special girl in your life at the moment? What? I... I, uh... Oh, forget it. Right. I'm gonna head back now. Catch you later. Super dorky and fun. Lynette can be a lot of fun. I think she's gonna fit in just fine. It's Moonlit Eve tonight. I heard it's great for a couple to see the moon on Mount Clemens. Do you want to go on a date with me? You're asking me out? Seeing as it's you, Raguna, I'd love to. I'll be waiting for you at the top of Mount Clemens. It's a beautiful night, Raguna. So romantic. Raguna, you're always so caught up in with work. You should come to a place like this to relax more often. Yeah, I know. I'm so happy you invited me today. Thanks, Raguna. Raguna, do you... do you like... what? Oh, forget it. It's just I feel... right. I'm gonna head back now. Good morning. Tonight's Moonlight Eve. They say couples in love that go see the mountain for Clement's Mountain will be granted happiness. Will you be my date? What? With you? Sure, I'll wait for you at the top of Coleman's Mountain, Raguna. It's a beautiful night, don't you think so, Raguna? So romantic. You know, Raguna, it 
really is nice to do things like this from time to time. Yeah. I'm happy that you asked me out today, Raguna. Thank you. Say, Raguna, do you like me? What? I mean, um, that is... I have to go. Yes, a girl needs her sleep, you know? At 6 p.m. A little bit early for that, but I respect, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's Moonlight Eve tonight. Wanna go on a date with me? You mean you wanna go on a date with me? Well, I do like presents, think about that. I'll be waiting for you at the top of Mount Clemens. Come and find me. It's a beautiful night, my lord. I'm usually stuck at home, so it's good to have this kind of day sometimes. Yeah. I'm so happy that you invited me today. Thanks. Could it be that you... like me? What? Well, that's okay. Right, I'm heading back home. Today's Moonlight Eve. <sighs> I wonder if someone will ask me out on a date. Will you be my date? What? With you? Uh, sure. I'll wait for you at the top of Mount Clemens, Raguna. And don't stand me up. It's a beautiful night, don't you think so, Raguna? So romantic. You know, Raguna, it really is nice to do things like this from time to time. Yeah. I'm happy you asked me out today, Raguna. Thank you. Say, Raguna, do you like me? As for me, well... <laughs> okay, I have to get back now. I mean, she's pretty straightforward in how she feels. Good morning. Tonight's Moonlight Eve, hmm? I hear people go with the loved ones on dates. Do you want to go on a date with me? What, with me? Seeing as it's you, Mr. Raguna, I'd love to. Right, I'll be waiting for you on the top of Mount Clemens. Mr. Raguna, it's such a beautiful night, so romantic. It reminds me of when I lived in my homeland. Raguna, it's so nice. Yeah, it is. I'm so happy you invited me today, Mr. Raguna. Thank you. M Mr. Raguna, what do you think of me? What? I, I, I like you, Mr. Raguna. Okay, it's time for me to go back. That was a cute, not so well put together side of her. Which is nice. Good morning. T Today's Moonlit Eve. That's when people go to the mountain on dates. Will you be my date? Really? You wanna go on a date with me? I'm so happy. I'll be waiting on top of Mount Clemens. It's a beautiful night, Mr. Raguna. So romantic. You know, Mr. Raguna, it's nice to do things like this once in a while. Yeah. I'm happy you asked me out today, Mr. Raguna. Thank you. Um, Mr. Raguna, do you, um, you know, like me? Because I, well, I, uh, I have to get back. Tori is as shy as ever. She still has a sweetheart, though. Now that it's afternoon, I can hang out with Mist. Tonight's Moonlit Eve! Did you know it was the day that men can take the lady out they love on a date? Would you go with me? Hey, you want to take me? Well, I'd love to, seeing that it's you. I'll be waiting for you on, Temple Ma on the top of Mount Clemens. Make sure you come. That was not the correct direction, actually. Where is she going? Whatever, I guess she's going home to get ready or something. Raguna, it's a beautiful night! So romantic! It's nice to come to the mountain with you. I usually come alone. Oh, really? Thanks for the invite today. I'm so happy, Raguna. Hey, Raguna, could it be that you like me? What? I, er, I like... Oh, you know. It's getting late. I'm gonna head back. Ooh, 
very missed, to be honest. It's Moon Eve tonight, a night for a day, eh? What? With me? Okay, seeing as it's you, Raguna, I'll wait for you at the top of Mount Commons. You will come, won't you? Raguna, what a beautiful night. It's kind of romantic. Raguna, we always meet at the bathhouse, eh? It'd be nice to meet somewhere else sometimes. Yeah. Raguna, I'm so happy that you invited me out today. Thanks. Hey, Raguna, could it be... Could it be that you're interested in me? What? So what about me? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head home now. And with that, we've hung out with every girl. But Melody won't be the canon one that we ended up hanging out with. I actually haven't recorded one of the ones that you've already seen, so... Lynette is actually the girl we hung out with today. I need to get her friendship up, and this is a good excuse for it. So, give me a moment while I go out and do that. I think all in all, this was a very good experience, seeing everyone's different affections and feelings on Riguna. Moments like this make me really wish this game was remade. Because I'd love to see more of this. I love these characters, I think they're really interesting, and I wish they shone as brightly as I know they could. Even just this music by itself it makes me happy. We're gonna move on to the next festival, but know that this is probably my favorite one. Hey, Raguna, there's a festival today, so I'm gonna give you this. I'm so happy, I didn't think you'd accept it. Okay, see you later. Hey, hey, Raguna, there's a festival today, so I'm giving you this. You got a chocolate. Yeah, don't you like it? I'm happy you like it. Okay, see you later. Is this for me? Oh, you don't like it? I'm also glad that you like it. Okay, catch you later. The winter festival is over. Every girl gave us chocolate. Alright, it's the 24th day of winter, also known as the Sacred Night. I missed a few girls last year, so... I'm so happy you came at this time, Raguna. Raguna, I really wanted to relax and talk with you like this at home. Raguna, let's always be f there for each other. Eh? Promise? For sure. I'll totally always be here and not in a different location. Hopefully you're there. Good morning. I had a feeling you'd come, Mr. Raguna. After all, it's sacred night. I was hoping I could have a nice long talk with you like this, Mr. Raguna. We should do this more often. For sure. Eventually. Maybe. Okay, so I believe last year I missed out on Mist. Ah, welcome, Regina. I had a feeling you might come with it being Sacred Night and all. I often talk with you out in the fields, but it'd be nice if we could relax and chat at my home sometime. I hope we can always stay close, Regina. Totally. Absolutely, Mist. I'm sure our destinies are interwoven or whatever. <laughs> oh. The beach is open for swimming today, eh? Do you like swimming, Regina? What? Lynette? Are you okay? Did... Did someone hurt you? That was... That... That was over half a year ago. 
She wasn't even here for that event. I'm confused. <laughs> I guess because she's standing there on a holiday, it registers it. They just didn't program her to be there. That's... that's wild, actually. Alright. My guess is that I can't talk to Lynette until it reaches, like, 9 p.m. or whatever, whether it be 6 or 9 p.m. So I'll wait for that time to pass, and we'll cut back to then. Good evening. You came here, Raguna? Ah, yes, it's Sacred Night. Actually, I always wanted to relax and chat at home like this with you, Raguna. Raguna, I hope you'll always want to chat with me. For sure, Lynette. And that's every girl we haven't talked to in the past. So, we're running low on holidays. That actually pushed us up to 10 friendship. So, as is true for many of the holidays, she does not care about either New Year's or New Year's Eve. Oh, there's a festival today, eh? I can't stand the noise. So, that is every holiday. That is everything that we miss throughout the holidays. I assume that I've covered everything at this point. And... So that's neat. It probably wasn't too long for you, but I've played an entire year in game. It is now New Year's Day, the third year of the game. I have taken care of many of the crops and every all the flowers and everything that I needed to grow, and I'm almost there. I've almost done them all. So I'll meet you guys back once I've done that. All right, it's the seventh day of spring, and the emery flower is done as are many, many other things. So, I will harvest one of each thing. And actually, I need one of these corn that I grew. Nice. I'm almost done! I'm so excited! I'm so excited And I just can't hide it Right, all the shadow crops are done. The emery flower. This golden flower is difficult to cultivate and extremely rare. It should be noted that this flower, I believe, is like made of metal, or at least is super strong and can be used in a replacement of metal. In future Rune Factories, it does mention that, but not in this one. It takes a full year to grow. Lamp grass. The glowing pollen inside the buds in this grass can be used as a lamp. 90 days, aka 3 months to grow. Also, it's level 10, just to show off. Cherry grass. This springtime grass buds flowers that look similar to cherry blossoms takes two months to grow. Autumn grass. The name of this grass is from the red and yellow colors of its flowers. It takes two months to grow. Oh. Pom pom grass. Small white ball like flowers bloom from the center of this grass. It takes three months to grow. Knoll grass. People enjoy adorning this grass with stars and such. A good sacred night gift. It takes just over a month to grow. Red crystal. Form from rune crystals. This delicate flower changes colors. Red in the fall. Form from rune crystals. This delicate flower changes colors. Blue in the spring. The green crystal. Form from rune crystals. This delicate flower changes colors. Green in the summer. The fire flower. Also called fireworks in the wild because they're magnificent floral colors. Iron leaf. The core of the spiky grass collects iron from the ground. It takes 40 days to grow. The four-leaf clover, a rare lucky item. These are a joy to hold and also make excellent presents. Take two months to grow. Also, I never really read off how long these take. These take a hundred days. Kind of excessive, to be honest. And I also have a level 10 crystal seed, because why not, I guess? There we go. We have shipped every one of them. We have now shipped everything in this category. As well as all but these three in this category, because these don't actually exist. We're almost done with this category. 
which, speaking of, I caught the turbo. I decided to do it off camera because I had a feeling like it would take a while. The first one, this one, took me 16 tries. That's not that bad for a rare fish. The second one only took one try. That was pretty good. The third one took 117 catches. And that's a low guess. Because that's when I started counting. I, uh, I'd been doing like little recording things just to try. And I actually deleted the third one when I started it. I accidentally hit the stop button and it crashed the program and deleted it. But, um, 117 starting from that. I don't know about before that. It may have been, it may have been 10, it may have been 30. I don't know. Just know that, uh, the level 27 turbo is a lot harder to catch than the level 12, apparently. They were caught in the same place. I don't know. This one's just huge. At the knife set, if we use the turbo, we will get the turbo sashimi. In the frying pan, if we use the turbo, we'll get the fried turbo. And now in the oven, if we take one butter, and a corn on the cob, or and a corn, and we get corn on the cob. This is actually Rosetta's favorite gift, I believe. So if you're going after Rosetta, corn and butter is your way to go. I uh, thought I'd planted some, that way I could just make some, get Rosetta to love me and all that. I apparently never did. Like, the thing I thought was corn was actually pineapple. I'm not very bright sometimes. <laughs> Turbo sashimi. Fresh turbo cut and served raw with soy sauce. Its fin meat is delicious. Fried turbo. Salted turbo fried in a pan. The tried and true way. Remember, fresh is best. Turbo. Both eyes occupy the right side of the fish's body. Can change colors. Corn of the cob. Cook corn with a rich and sweet flavor. One, two, three, and four. We are done. Every single dish cooked. Every single one of these, except for the potions, of course, have been shipped. Every single fish has been caught. And just to be sure, we're not quite done. <laughs> I didn't want to do this quite yet. I had something delaying me up until a certain point, but it was kind of tied into where I'm going next. I haven't gotten one of these items. It is the white stone. So I figure that will be the next stop. It is the final kind of side quest in the entire game. It is a marriage requirement for Rosetta. So let's take care of that next. It's so cool. I'm not freaking I'm freaking done! I shipped all of them! It's so freaking cool! Ah, that was so much work and so much effort, but I did it! I did it. Yes! <laughs> uh, sorry, future game, but just... <laughs> I'm actually laughing! <laughs> That's great! Uh, I'm not... Yeah, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> so how you start the quest is you come in here. A stone lies deep inside a cave of deep white snow. It's hidden under a high pile of ancient ice. Any girl that is proposed to with this stone is rumored to live happily forever. Good to know. I believe after six songs you have Jean up to, I think, three friendship? No. She's not up here yet. She must be still doing her round, so let's wait until eight. Yep. I wonder where you were born, Raguna. It must have, it must be hard not being able to remember anything. There's some poet named Lucas staying at the inn. I don't know what his problem is, but he keeps flirting with me. The next time you're there, would you mind whacking him with your sickle, Raguna? That's violent. <laughs> you wanted to see me so badly that you came to my room. Don't tell me that you're interested in me. <laughs> oh, have we already talked to her about this? Oh, have you ever heard of the White Stone? The White what? The White Stone is a legendary stone, but I've been searching for it for years. What happens if you find it? 
What happens? Well, um, that's none of your business. <laughs> I think sometime in the Let's Play I've shown that text, but I needed to do that now, just for clarity's sake. Now, if I remember correctly, it's in Tauros Cave, which I think the reason I didn't do this earlier was actually because I thought it was in, uh, not Greed, maybe Danan? Maybe Danan. So this is kind of a memory thing. I haven't done this since like the first time I've played this game, but I'm just kind of looking for something that'll hopefully spark a memory. Oh, no, it was one of these rooms back here, I think. It's not this, right? Maybe this is what it is. Hmm? Looks like something's buried here. Could this be the white stone? You got the white stone. That was deep inside my memory. I, for some reason, thought it was way deeper in the cave. And that is the final of the marriage items. So... Uh, how, to, how to explain this? We obviously cannot marry every girl. It's just not a thing you can do in this game. So, rather than try to marry every girl, I'm going to be showing what it's like to marry every girl. I'll be going down my list of them, and this right here is the canon end to Rune Factory. So in the next episode, in the next bonus episode, you will be getting everything that I couldn't do thus far, that Raguna never does in this game. Technically, he doesn't really fill out shipping waste or any of that, or at least not that we know of. But Raguna, this derpy little boy, <laughs> is about to get married, guys. I'll be going over as much of everything as I can. And I'll be going in the exact requirements and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Or... Wait, why am I trying to say goodbye? I haven't even covered the item yet. We worked hard for this. The White Stone, a legendary white rock purported to bring its... Yeah, purported to bring its owner happiness. I don't know why that... I don't know that I've ever heard that word before. And if I have, I probably previously said I've never heard that word before. <laughs> so, before I cut away, even though I was so certain I was done... Alright, before we're done here, we have the Grimoire Sword, a sword carved out of Grimoire scales, purely for ornamental purposes. We have the White Stone, a legendary white rock purported to bring its owner's happiness, and the Lapis Lazuli, a beautiful blue rock. There are some other items we need, but these are the three unique items. So guys, next time, we're getting married. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.